For our next problem, we're going to look at the climbing staircase problem. Here is the problem statement. Given a staircase of n steps, count the number of distinct ways to climb to the top. The constraint is that you can either climb one step or two steps at a time. For example, if you have one step, there is only one way to climb it. If you have two steps, there are two ways to climb them, one at a time or two steps at once. Similarly, if you have three steps, there are three ways to climb, one at a time, one and then two, or two and then one. Similarly, if you have four steps, you have five ways to climb to the top, one at a time, one, one, and then two, one, two, and then one, two, one, and then one, finally, two steps at a time. Hopefully, you now have a good understanding of what we are trying to count. Now, let's understand the approach we are going to take to solve the problem. And to be honest, this is something we can derive from the constraint. At any given time, you can either climb one step or two steps. Which means, if you have to climb to step n, we can only climb from step n-1 or n-2. There is no other way. So what we have to do is calculate the ways we can climb to n-1 and n-2 steps and add the two. That will give you the ways to climb to the nth step. So, climbing staircase of n is equal to climbing staircase of n minus 1 plus climbing staircase of n minus 2. And this seems familiar, doesn't it? It is the pattern for the Fibonacci sequence. Let's verify the formula using the previous slide. We know that climbing the first and second steps are fixed at one and two ways respectively. Third step would now be sum of 1 and 2, which is 3. The number of ways to climb fourth step would be the sum of 2 and 3, which is 5. So, the number of ways to climb n is equal to the number of ways to climb n-1 plus the number of ways to climb n-2. Hopefully, you're able to understand how to solve this problem. Please pause the video and try solve the problem. Let's discuss the solution together in the next video.